Fibular head. Peroneal nerve. Peroneus longest muscle. Peroneus brevis muscle. Fibular shaft. Lateral malleolus. Peroneal tubercle. Calcaneofibular ligament. Posterior talofibular li ligament. Anterior tibio taylor <laughs> anterior talofibular ligament. Posterior tibiofibular ligament. Anterior tibiofibular ligament. Peroneus tertius. Tibial tuberosity. Gertie's tuberosity. Anterior tibial shaft. Anterior tibialis. Centered hallucis longus muscle. Extensor digitorum longus muscle. Extensor reconaculum. Domotalus. Sinus tarsi. Medial malleolus. Deltoid ligament. Sustentaculum tali. Tibialis posterior muscle. Flexor digitorum longus muscle. Sensor halogus longus muscle. Sensor or flexor? Flexor. Gastroc soleus. Achilles tendon. Subcutaneous cal calcaneal bursa. It's between the tendon and the skin. Subtendinous calcaneal bursa. Uh, under the uh, Achilles tendon? In calcaneus. Okay, so for all these tests, I'm going to do it bilaterally. Um, can you bring your toes to your knee? Okay, can you push down on the gas pedal? Okay, can you bring your toes inward? Can you bring your toes outward? Okay, can you bring your toes up to your knee? Okay. This should be at 20 degrees. And then relax. And then can you push down the gas pedal? This should be 50 degrees. And then can you go inwards? This should be at 20 degrees. And can you go outwards? And that should be at five degrees. So then passively, do dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, inversion, eversion, and then can you slide off the table? And we'll do another um, dorsiflexion. Okay, slide back. And then Manual muscle, um, can you bring your toes to your knee? Okay. Can you push on the gas pedal for plantar flexion? Can you bring your toes in? Okay. And now it goes out. Okay. And then um, anterior drawer. This tests uh, the ATFL to see if there's a tear. And then um, Taylor tilt inversion that tests the calcaneofibular ligament, and then eversion tests uh, the deltoids, and then the Kliegers, the um, dorsiflex and externally rotate, and that's testing syndesmosis for a high ankle sprain, and then um, <clears throat> can you slide off the end here for POTS compression? Squeeze up and down the shafts, and if it's painful, 
more up top, that means there's a fracture, and if it's more painful down low, that's more syndesmosis or high ankle sprain. And then the percussion bump test will test to see if there's a fracture. Um, Thompson's, can you flip over? You squeeze the calf, see the foot moving, that test. Make sure there's no Achilles rupture. Um, slide off the end here for Holman's. You extend and dorsiflex the knee passively to see if there's deep vein thrombosis, and it can also be warm and redness behind there. Um, dermatomes, that can slide back. The L4. Starts up at the thigh, crosses the knee, comes down here. Um, that is for ankle dorsiflexion. Um, L5 comes down and is in between the first and second toe, and that's great toe extension. S1 comes down the lateral side, and that is for ankle plantar flexion. And then S2 is all the way down behind by the Achilles and attaches to the calcaneus. And that is um, knee flexion. And then the pulses, one is all the way down between the toes. And then the other one is by the medial malleolus. And then for reflex testing, L4 and L5 is for the patella tendon. And then the S1, S2 is down for the Achilles.